So hi everybody and welcome back. Today we will have a short roundup of all these great 180 size frames which we reviewed lately. We will just visually compare them and of course compare their weight and their other characteristics. Here on the uh, on the top left we have the, the Airbrix FPV Airhawk, Airhawk 180 frame. This is a massive frame. You remember the review, I think. Let's just focus on it here. So this frame comes with these massive 4 millimeter arms and also otherwise looks very, very robust. Comes with the pre tilt uh, camera mount for the FPV camera and of course for the recording camera. So this is a really, really, really nice frame. And then the second one here uh, on the top right is of course the FPV model ZMR 180 frame. As you can see this is also a, a really nice frame. As with the Airhawk 180 this comes with the pre tilt camera mount for the FPV camera. So this is really nice. So what else do we have here? On the bottom left we have the Lizard, the Diadone Lizard 180 frame. And this is also a 180 frame, but it looks <laughs> kinda much smaller than the other frames. So this is also really nice. Let's also take a close up here of that one. So this is the Diadone Lizard frame. It, it feels very lightweight. I'm really curious at the at the, at the size of this, at the weight of this, there is no pre tilt camera mount or anything, but of course the camera goes here. You will have to think for yourself about how to tilt it. And last but not least, on the bottom right here, we have the DAL RC frame. Uh, the, the, the DAL RC 180 frame, DL 180 frame. What I really like about this frame is these this motor safers here, which, which double act as landing gear. This is really nice. This frame, if you remember, also comes with the tilt able mount for the FPV camera. So you can just tilt it any way you want and then you tighten the screw in here and it will stay that way. And it also comes with this uh, 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 dampened mount for your recording camera and you see how it is mounted. Also the tilt mount of the FPV camera is also dampened. So these are some really really nice and new ideas about this DAL RC frame and yeah this is really nice. What we will do today is simply compare the weight of them. Of course weight is not everything. As you see there is this massive frame from Airbix FPV. But still weight is a characteristic and we will take a look at this today. So we will start with this massive frame from Airbix FPV. That's the Airhawk 180 and take a look at its weight. So the Airhawk 180 comes in at 121 grams. I will quickly note this down. Next we will take a look at the FPV model ZMR180 which comes in at only 75 grams. Next we will take a look at the Lizard 180 from Diatone, which comes in even lighter at just 62 grams. And last but not least we take a look at the DAL RC DL 180 frame, which comes in at 79 grams without this motor savers and if we put this motor savers in as well, I will just 
take a note here 79 grams without and with the motor savers and everything else this comes in at 92 grams so what can we see here we have very different types of frames here let's just line them up again for you so that you can see here so you can see it so once we have this air hawk 180 which is a really really nice frame and you can see it is made for robustness so this will not take your 1306 motors this calls for something stronger which you can really uh, use to push it to race around so 1806 motors or even larger this is a robust frame four millimeter arms you won't be able to kill that easily and then in between we have the Satam R180 uh, uh, which is by far not as massive as the Airhawk 180 but of course it's much lighter so while the Airhawk 180 has 121 grams the FBB model Satam R180 comes in at only 75 grams so that's much much lighter and still comes also with the tilted mount for the FPV camera but it misses of course the, the camera mount for the recording camera and you can see the difference here when you compare the arms and everything it is much lighter but it's probably also less robust and then we have that a small thing here the lizard from Diatone which is really a, a down to the bare bones frame I would say so this diatone lizard is the lightest of all of these 180 frames it comes in at just 62 grams it also have a, a really really thin top plate here but still the bottom plate will not break easily I think because of the form factor of it you see I think you will have a hard time to crash this or to break this because of the innovative form factor here very nice frame and here we have the dial RC frame I will put these landing legs aside which double act as motor savers which is a really really nice idea and this is also a very nice frame comes with a lot of nice ideas it comes with a, 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 a camera plate of course which is vibration tampered and it comes with this really really nice tilt able camera mount for your FPV camera which is also a great idea the, the bottom here is massive it looks really nice it's I think the same strength as the Satam R you can see it here so this is this is really nice uh, the Dahl RC comes in at 79 grams without this uh, motor savers and landing legs and 92 grams with them so we have a lot of very nice frames here for robustness you will probably get the Airhawk which is a really it's it's you know the tank among this uh, 180 frames for an all around you will get the Satam R180 or the Dahl RC DL180 these are two very uh, quite similar and very nice frames as you can see and if you want to go as light as possible you will probably go with the Diadone Lizard which is still very robust, uh, robust because of its innovative bottom plate form factor so I hope I could show you something here I hope you liked this uh, roundup of these different frames if you like them please leave a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and I would be very happy to see you next time